chicken Provencal one pot meal. Once it's uh, finished cooking through, once the chicken has had 15 or 20 minutes at a low bubbling simmer to finish cooking through to the bone, uncover it and just spoon some of those beautiful vegetables down over the top and rearrange it in the pan however you like, just making it look really presentable because the beauty of this is you serve it literally from the pan. Now, this chicken starts out uh, just with uh, herbe de Provence, which is uh, parsley, sage, rosemary, thyme, and a little bit of lavender. Uh, dried herbe de Provence in the little jar you get in a regular grocery store. Salt, pepper, brown it, and olive oil. Take the chicken out, pop it on a plate for a sec. Add in fresh fennel, celery, onion, garlic, thyme, bay. Cover the dish, let that cook out until that gets soft and the vegetables start giving off their juices. Lots of garlic in there as well. Then I added white wine, chicken stock, a little tomato, and a pinch of saffron. Again, you can make it without saffron, still delicious, but you get a lot of bang for your buck. It, de it deepens the flavor and the color of the dish when you present it. The aroma is just unbelievable. This is a nothing dinner, and if you put it out with a salad and a few store-bought French cheese, uh, uh, pieces, you're, you're done. You have a lovely little dinner party and it took no effort. It's a great, great, great dinner. And the family will love it too. So I've got, I've got a little bit of all of our veg spooned down over the top. I left the bay leaf in there just because it looks so pretty. And again, the great thing is you just take this right from stove or oven to the table to serve. And then in my family, the fork and the knife, of course, we put out for dinner, like we have here. But the most important utensil was the bread. So in my opinion, when you serve a meal that has delicious juice like this does, you take some nice crusty bread, like these beautiful pieces of ciabatta I'm asking, I'm adding to the pan, and you just stick it right down in the juice all around the side of the pan. So as you serve, they just get soaked right through. And these things in my family, this is what we have for dessert. We eat the chicken so we can have that juicy soaked bread.